Welcome back to the channel guys. We're starting another campaign this time the as the horde During the previous poll they had the second highest number of votes and As I'm getting close to finishing up the burning legion campaign. I might as well start this one as well So I'm really excited for this one. They have a really really nice soundtrack. It always gets me hyped up so yeah, I'm gonna put the base difficulty on very hard. Let's keep the battle difficulty on medium because I'll be fighting the Burning Legion pretty soon. So, and yeah, it might be really crazy fighting them on a higher difficulty. So let's, uh, let's begin. Oh, and this is the Frozen Throne map right because you have the two different maps uh, the Warcraft 3 map and some of the factions and starting positions are a little bit different for the horde it makes more sense to choose the frozen throne one because they, they weren't they didn't even land in uh, Kalimdor during the standard Warcraft 3 campaign I like playing as the Horde. They're very melee focused, which makes them different. I would say makes them different from most factions in Warcraft Total War. Most of them are focused on spellcasters, just ranged units in general. But I mean, the Horde has like uh, has a pretty good spellcaster unit, the Orc Shaman. Uh, but most of their really high tier units are just extremely good melee units. They have this one Torin bodyguard unit. That's extremely good, very durable. They have the Blade Masters, which can slice through paladins like butter, which you guys might have seen in some of the previous my uh, like Stormwind campaign. When I was fighting the the Dark Horde. But yeah, all right, let's take a look. So we got two agents. Okay, we have 100% shamanism here. So let's let's try to convert somewhere else. A spy unit. We're kind of in an exposed location. A lot of potential enemies. Let's send the spy over here so we can keep on keep an eye on the burning legion. And let's get to building. Training grounds first, so that I get the free garrison uh, applied to to the units. Um, yeah, we can keep Vulgen as a village because they're they're not exposed. Training grounds, roads, training grounds, and roads. Bloodhoof. Actually, Bloodhoof, let's convert that to a moat and bailey. Alright, that's that. Let's check the diplomacy. So, in this one you start off with a lot of allies. They are more, but we do have to be careful, we might get backstabbed eventually. But we we do have Theramor, the Night Elves, the Forsaken, and the Goblins as allies. And then most of our enemies are across the ocean, so we don't really have to worry. Wait. I spoke too soon. I forgot that we have a settlement here in Stoneard. So I will have to deal with uh, with the humans. Hmm. 
I'm considering... I'm considering not... not staying here. Because uh, we only have one small army, it's a small town. Stormwind becomes really big. I might move this army somewhere else, somewhere that will be more useful. So we'll, we'll see. But yeah, as I was saying, most of our enemies are here in the Eastern Kingdom, so... Of course, I'm going to focus more on Kalimdor, and really what that means is focusing on the Burning Legion and focusing on the Kiraji. The Kiraji, they spread really quickly. They end up like in this area, and the Burning Legion spreads up here really quickly. So Sunrock will definitely have some issues. Well, here's Thrall. Let's move him to somewhere more useful. We also have Vulgen right there. Garrosh. So many legendary figures. Bane, Bloodhoof. High Overlook. Varrock. Oh, and here we have nice troll units and uh, Brackenwall. They'll be very useful. I guess we might as well take this village in uh, Bramble Scar. Why are they not able to move? Some kind of bug or something. Anyway, let's let's go down with Garrosh and I think I think these quill boars outnumber us, but maybe maybe we can still defeat them. Turn. Arthas. So that's he, basically he's landed in up here in Oradoron. We don't have to worry about that. Let's keep moving Thrall. Let's move Vulgen out west.
Oh, whatever happened with ogres looks like they are able to move. So let's go. Let's let's go down south here actually. All right, and now the quill boar are going to sally out. I have no idea if this army is big enough to handle them, but we'll find out. All right, looks like there is a chance, so let's let's save just in case. If anyone can win this, it's gonna be Garrosh Hellscream. Let's move the general back. Put the spear throwers up front, and that's it. The quill bore units look really ugly. Ugh. Alright, we're already hitting them. 3% of the enemy is down. 6%. It's going well. For now. Wow, we're actually losing somehow. Let's shoot at these guys. They can do some damage, I think. They're spellcasters. Nice, they're, they're very squishy spellcasters. And I think th they might have been the reason why we weren't doing well. Oh, if I kill their general. Oh, only their general remains. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this one. <laughs> Way too outnumbered. And the enemy had a spellcaster. Girash is still alive. Two thirds of the enemy is down. And I got Girash killed. <laughs> Not a good start. Send this troll arm, uh, ogre army to finish them off. Hmm, 
think I should just sacrifice this army so that it reduces my upkeep. There is no point having an army this far. Yeah, let's just take the whole army and let's find some humans to fight. Alright, nice. We've reached Sunrock. Where's my spy unit at? Oh look, it's Jaina. Hopefully she doesn't <laughs> betray us. Oh, I love this track. Actually, yeah, we're gonna use this army to take Bramble Score. Alright, end the turn. Oh no, did someone a someone else take Bramble Scar? Theramore did. Ah, I weakened them and then they took it. I softened them up for them. And then they took it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, let's keep moving this army down south then. Let's just keep building farms. Economy is too small for how big our uh, armies are. Way too small. Alright, let's keep pushing west. Oh yeah, what should I do with Thrall? Ah, looks like the Night Elves have taken this area. Which is good. Then they can deal with the Burning Legion instead of me. And with this ar army, maybe we can move out west here. Because the Burning Legion's literally right here.
build a watchtower. Yeah, perfect. That way we can easily see if the night elves start getting um, attacked by the legion. End the turn. Yeah, Stoneard revolted. That's fine. We're gonna cause some trouble for Stormwind. I'm I'm not gonna conquer this area. I just want to weaken them. This army up here. And here somewhere oh, okay, I was gonna say here somewhere there's a there's another Quillbore rebel settlement. So let's try to take that. full stack, and I think we have permission from the Night Elves. We have military access, yeah, so let's go over west. These Torin units are so good, Torin warriors, and then their bodyguard unit, I talked about this at the, at the beginning, is even better. Now I can recruit more uh, free upkeep units, let's do that. Nice, we have a full, really good stack that we can actually used to fight the Burning Legion. Nice. One stack here. With Thrall, another stack here. And I think I'm gonna end it here, guys pretty uneventful, but we've set the stage for massive expansion against the Burning Legion. The sooner we can take their, I think they have three settlements here, the sooner we can take them, the sooner they're not going to be a threat anymore. Like always, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Helps the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.